Today, I am super pumped. Let me show you why. Because these crappy ball joints don't stand a chance. I found their maker, literally their maker. It was about, uh, this cost me like $90 I'd say on Amazon. And this is a like, uh, I guess a bushing ball joint kind of press thing that you can use to get stuff off without having to remove it and put it in a big press machine. And literally the stuff that this thing comes with is some heavy duty kit. Um, this thing is just huge. But uh, yeah, so. We're going to be removing those ball joint bushings finally and we're going to be putting in the GK Tech Hikus Elimination Kit. I'll show you the kit again once uh, we uh, kind of get to the part where we're going to be installing it. But for now, my mission is to get those ball joints out. Now, before we go and jack up the car, because of my situation of working on my car here in the driveway, we've got to be a little bit smart because my neighbors at some point are going to want to take their cars out today. There's no doubt about that. So what we're going to do is we need to get the coilovers out to get easy access to the knuckles. So we're gonna take the rear seats out first, then we can move the car back against here so I can still get access to this side of the wheel. And then what I'll be able to do is take the coilovers out and everything with the car obviously up in the air, we'll then be able to have enough room on the rear knuckle to pull out those ball joint br um, bushings. And then we can put in the new Hikers Eliminator kit, put everything back together, put the car on the ground and we'll be good. And we can put the seats back in later tonight. So. With all of that being said, it's ASMR coffee time. And of course, I would have no other coffee for ASMR coffee time than Georgia the Premium. Before you drink one of these guys here in Japan, it's important to shake it, get everything all mixed up in there. And let's do this. Oh, yes. Sorry girl, I don't have anything for you. Maybe next time, get some gas and coffee at the same time. All right, now that uh, got some coffee in me, let's get to work. So if any of you guys own a Skyline, you know the battle that I just had to get those top bolts out of the coilover. Um, I really wish there was an easier way to get in there um, without having to take the pillar out, but uh, you just sneak in there with a small ratchet. Anyways, time to remove these coilovers. So I've already gotten those bolts done. So, oh, yep, that came off a lot easier than I expected. And now I'm holding the coilover with my left hand, which is not what I wanted, but that's okay. We'll balance it like that. Oh man, I need to give them a clean. They're definitely... A bit dirty, a lot of rubber on them. So that's one coil over out. I'll sit him there. Go get the other side out. They come out so easily when the top bolts are undone. <laughs> Who would have known, right? All right, left side now. Oh, the wind isn't happy. Oh, this came out way easier than the other one. A little bit better prepared, I think. Sick. Set those there. I might give him a bit of a parts cleaner and a hose down later. Man, the wind just won't give up today, hey. Hopefully the mic's okay. Um, now, the next mission is, is we gotta remove this uh, hiker's cancel bar um, and then we should be good to go. Well, as you can probably tell from the time lapse, I'm not having too much fun. So I brought the fire out. Well, I mean, it's the closest thing I have to like a blowtorch. So we're gonna use that, try to heat up the knuckle a little bit and see if that'll let, let it kind of like slide out a bit easier. It's not budging at all currently. Um, I had to completely take the drive shaft out. Sorry, the CV shaft out just so I could try and have a go at it from this angle with this guy at this end. And uh, it, it's still not budging. So uh, yeah, fun times. We'll have a crack at it with the flame and get some heat in there, see if that helps. If not, I'll just take the whole knuckle off, put a socket on this end and smash it with a hammer out because that's how I got the ones out of my 34. 
So that little bit of heat that I put on just heated up the little bit of the knuckle here for like five, like like two minutes, not even that. And now it's pushing the bushing out like it's butter. Oh man, I'm so happy about that. I was getting really nervous that I might not be able to get these out today. Oh boy, it's out, it's out. I'd, I'd touch it, but I think it's really hot. F you. Oh man, ow, yeah, that's very hot. That's, that's very hot. We got it out, guys. Hell yeah, now we gotta do the other side. <laughs> Yay, fun. So it's time to get this side sorted out. Um, now the first step is we gotta cut this off uh, from the ball joint. That's just because with the press and everything, this sticks out too far, so we just chop it off so the whole thing can fall out. Now I just had a pretty scary thing happen with my angle grinder. I wasn't cutting anything, but when I was walking across here, I tripped over the extension lead, and then it kind of jolted on this, which caused the switch on my angle grinder to turn on, and then the, the angle grinder powered up, like you can see the gashes and everything and all of the tarp and stuff here and it, it pretty much nearly took out my GoPro and somehow nothing was hit here and it was just insane. Um, and obviously I managed to unplug it <laughs> as quickly as I could. Um, but yeah, just goes to show guys, always be careful when you've got power tools. I think I'm just going to always unplug this now when I'm not using it just because that was... That was not nice. <laughs> so the next step to all of this is you gotta get this little circ clip out. Now it's pretty easy if you got the right tool for it, um, but if you don't, you can generally get it with the screwdriver. In fact, I actually normally have better luck with a screwdriver with these than I do with this tool. So I'm just using this tool for the sake of it and hoping that it's gonna work this time, which it looks like it has. Huzzah! Look at that. Got the little circ clip off. So once you got that circ clip off, then now for me with my press tool, I find it easier to actually go from this side and it's not too hard for me to take the CV shaft bolt out and all of these bolts and just let it hang down. So I'm gonna quickly do that and then uh, we'll heat this up a bit and press her out. And just like the other side, once you put a bit of heat on the bushing, it comes out like butter. I'm so happy that this actually went a lot smoother than I thought it was going to be. And I'm so glad I had the idea to actually put some heat into it. And I'm so glad that I bought that for that, uh, eight, what was it, the, the 70,000 subscriber celebration that we did? Or was it 50? I can't remember where we did the prawn on a barbie thing. And I bought this for the barbecue that we did to heat up the coals. Because that saved my life. And now, we have the last bushing out of here. I mean, I'd pick it up, but it's pretty hot, so we'll just we'll just leave that there. There we go. Done skis. All right. Um, now to get the new one in is pretty straightforward. Um, I actually like to keep this still a little bit warm, um, but not too hot that it's going to melt the new bushing because the new bushing is also rubber, like or polyurethane, so we don't want to damage it. So I spray, I spray a bit of CRC in there, and I'll go get a shop rag and I'll clean the inside of it as much as I can. I'll go get the new bushing from GK Tech and we'll slip that in. So the new GK Tech bushing is actually a two-piece bushing, which I really like. It means I don't need a press or anything fancy like that to install it. Um, and even though it has these two lips on either side, it collapses on itself. It's like polyurethane. And what I like to do is I like to squeeze in there as much as I can, and then I'll just come with the screwdriver and just kind of like just tuck in the extra little bit of lip that hasn't gone in yet. And then the whole thing will slip in, and then I just tap in the centerpiece with a hammer. Obviously, I lube it up with a bit of silicon grease or CRC as well. And then we're pretty much good to go. After that, I'm gonna put all of this back together and then we'll bolt in the Hikus Eliminator kit and then we're pretty much uh, ready to put the coilovers back in and drop this thing on the ground. Uh, also, you would have seen me maybe in the time lapse take some measurements to work out approximate toe that I need to have um, once I put the car back together. Tomorrow we're gonna get alignment though, so it's not a big deal. So I just finished installing the GK Tech Hikus Eliminator Kit and it went together super easy. It's it's not rocket science. The one thing I will say is if you are tackling this yourself is that it does come with these little washers, these little black insert washers that actually are designed to go behind 
the Hikus Eliminator kit here behind these bolts here. And that just spaces it off the subframe that tiny bit so that um, you don't have any clearance issues with your nut and bolt on the inside here of where the toe arm connects. So don't forget that and you should be fine. Everything's all torque to spec now and uh, I'm pretty much ready to put the coilovers back in um, and uh, then put the wheels on and bring the car down. I'm not going to do the rear seat tomorrow, uh, today. We'll leave the rear seat out until tomorrow. Um, but let's get this thing on the ground, get the coilovers back in, and then uh, we might be able to take it for a little test drive. Well, it's finally time to let this thing down. It took me a while to pack everything up, and she's back on the ground. Hell yeah. Gosh. Why is it that these jacks have been around for many, many years, but no one's ever been able to invent one that is quiet and doesn't make a ton of noise? So, okay, my toe is way off in this thing. Check this out, hang on, let me get this light out from under here. We're definitely gonna have to do something about this toe. Oh boy. <laughs> Seems like uh, my measurements, maybe I, I did something wrong because Damn, is there a lot of toe there that shouldn't be there. <laughs> At least it's going to be really gripped up now. <laughs> uh, I think it'll be okay for the alignment tomorrow. If it's too bad, I'll just jack it up and I'll adjust it by eye. It's not a big deal. Um, so what I'm going to actually do now is I'm kind of like, what the hell, let's finish the job. So I'm going to actually move the car and I'm going to put the rear seats back in. Might as well. We're already here, so let's just do it. And just like that, we got the rear seats in and everything's looking fresh and I definitely wasn't feeling lazy today. So, jacked up the rear of the car, got the tape measure out and redid my toe and uh, got that thing dialed in pretty good. Um, obviously, we're still doing the uh, alignment tomorrow because we've got to not only align the rear but the front because we put those uh, new arms in the front as well. So, uh, but that'll definitely be much safer than what it was before. It was so towed in, it was ridiculous. Anyways, I'm pretty happy with that. So, I'm going to finish packing up and then uh, wash up and then we'll head inside. So, just out taking the car for a bit of a test drive and so far everything feels really good um, obviously I'm not getting up to speeds of like 100 k's an hour or anything like that so I don't really know if there's any walk or anything from like the alignment that I did but so far everything feels really good which is pretty promising um, and the rear end feels pretty tight like it feels a lot stiffer than it used to be with the other Hikus Eliminator kit but the real test will be once we're on the track but just listen to this Gosh, I love this thing. Oh man. I was just about to head inside and then I realized I forgot the most important part about this install. A fresh GK Tech sticker on the back windscreen of the car. There we go. GK Tech, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. And guys, support the companies that support your boy Samet. If ever you're looking for any uh, adjustable suspension arms or any cool Nissan stuff, definitely check out gktech.com. Um, they have warehouses all around the world. So all cleaned up now and I have to say today was an epic day and I really feel like the vlog was awesome too because like I feel so accomplished and I was able to finally get that Hikus Elimination Kit from GK Tech installed in my car and like you saw all the previous hassles I had with it. I had a crack at it a, a few times before and just couldn't get it. I had the wrong tools for the job and then today seems like we finally pulled it off. I am so happy um, that that's in there and uh, hopefully tomorrow we can get alignment and everything will be sick. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say, but I feel super accomplished and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or if you have any tips or advice or anything like that, please down in the comment section, let me know your thoughts. And uh, with that guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Check it out. Peace out. Jamata.